Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, I better make sure it's on the right page. Amanda, did she put it on the wrong page? Are we on the right page? Yeah, we're on the right page. Amanda says she doesn't think we are. We are. I'm watching it. Amanda, we're on the right page. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi guys. Happy Tuesday. Uh, today, well, Amanda put it in the title, but, you know, we're still going to tell you everything we're going to talk about. We have, like, yeah. five really big things we need to talk about today. So, we got to talk about one of our favorite Nickelodeon characters. We got to talk about in-game just really quickly. Won't dwell, promise. We need to talk about some Guardians rumors, casting rumors that we heard about. Um, I think we need to talk about Us, the movie, because there's been a little bit of a debate about that on the internet. And then um, we, lost, we lost someone on our, one of our favorite shows last week, so we're gonna mm. we're gonna talk about her and our our time on the set of the rookie. So let's hop right into it. Quick introductions. Hello, everybody. My name is Amira Martin, and I'm from fourhatsandgoogle.com. Hi, everyone. I'm Sarah from sarahscoop.com. I'm Tessa with mamasgeeky.com. I am Amanda. <laughs> I like to watch y'all face. I was watching. <laughs> yeah, I say. We never know. <laughs> Guide for moms. Hi, I'm Tanya from LolaLambTops.com. Yay! We did it in order today. Woo! Hey, I'm excited. All right. Uh, so we'll never do it again. It'll we'll never happen again. <laughs> That might be a one shot. <laughs> you know, it was because Amanda was distracted with something over there. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> she always is. She didn't jump in. I'm yeah. sharing. That should be the first thing we oh. tell people. I am sharing. We all, we all need to the go goodness. Share. Okay. Okay. So yeah. just ignore us for ten minutes while we. <laughs> right now they can go ahead and hit. It's all one little click. Share done. Right. Yes. Yeah. You're right. Watching, you're right. Please share. Even if you're watching the replay, you can totally share. You, can. you know. Yes. Yourself entertaining like don't don't worry about it it's not going to be boring we're never boring <laughs> we may be loud we may be passionate but we are never boring so go ahead share the video share us out because today we have a lot to talk about and we're gonna have a lot of fun talking about it and speaking of fun i want to start off with dora because i'm so excited about the dora trailer i think it was so fun Tessa, I why did you make that face? Them. Why did you make that face, Tessa? <laughs> I cannot get excited about this. I don't know why. I want to see a... Swiper. <gasps> I, I want to see Gunn isn't directing the Dora movie. Oh, hey, if he was, I would be totally behind it. No, I just, this is a, the show that, like, I tell you, my husband and I would literally fall asleep watching it. I was so sick of it so quickly. So for me, I'm like, this is like, I have PTSD. I have Dora PTSD. Like, I don't need, my girls were obsessed. They would watch, like, 15 episodes in a row if they could, and we'd be like, I don't care about the map. I don't care what's in her backpack. <laughs> I don't care about Benny. Like, I I, I just, Swiper was my favorite. Mm -hmm. I would <laughs> get behind, like, Swiper, no swiping. That I could, but, oh, man, they were just so into it for so long because they were a year and a half apart, so, like, one was what, and it, it just, it, it seemed like I had to live with Dora for a week. Then they liked Dora and Friends, you know, the new Dora. Yeah. And I was I like, oh, my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like, even, I'm, even my husband was like, they're, they're going to make a movie. No. And then the girls were so excited. And they're like, we're going to go to theaters to see it. I'm like, no. I'm yes, like, well, you like, you let them watch. I would turn off the TV. I'd be like, oh, no, there's no Dora up in this house. <laughs> like, what? I know. What kind of example is oh, that setting for like kids? Nap time for us. He was out like, just gallivanting around just with a monkey, no parents around. I was like, this ain't the kind of example I want to set my kids. So I was like, no, I Dora know. The house. <laughs> no, no. Who knows what in her backpack, you but know? Tessa. I mean, like, the she's got, like, like, an axe. I feel like the trailer seems like it has, like, a much better story. She has parents in the trailer. So, like, yeah. Sarah, I'm with you because I I did not like the cartoon, but I saw this trailer, and I was not even excited for it. I was like, let me do the trailer reaction. And then I watched it. I was like, oh, I could totally watch this. I thought the trailer yeah. looked good. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm here for this movie. Like, I am super excited about it. Um, 
And that's probably why Amanda's so mean to me, because she's always hated the Latinos. She's always hated uh, Dora. So she projects that anger towards me. That's not true. She loves Luis. Like, you can't no, just... Yeah, that's true. My that, she is Luis. Like, yeah. But that's, that's who she is. I mean... That's why also I'm here is because I love Michael Pena yes, from, yes. who's yes. in the Ant-Man movies. And like, I don't care what he's in. I will watch it except for that Chips movie. Um, but I am excited <laughs> for Dora. Well, you know, Benicio Del Toro is going to be Swiper too, which I'm super <gasps> excited about. Yeah, really? So good. I was, he's good. He's good. good. showed him in the, in the trailer then. I, Cause I was looking for some Swiper. I know they didn't show Swiper. No. That was but, other thing. And it felt like, did it feel like about, I don't know, partway through it turned into like, it seemed like a TV movie to me, not a theater movie. Did anybody else feel like it seemed like, it seemed like almost lower quality or I don't know, something about it. I don't I know. Mean, it looked like, I think Tanya, you said it, it feels like Spy Kids, which yeah. I was best with Spy Kids. Like it feels like that type of movie. And Spy Kids kind of looks like it could be, it should be on TV, but not really. Cause when you see it on a big screen, you're like, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing. <laughs> So yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I totally think it's got a Spy Kids vibe, even like a, a, I don't know if you guys ever saw Shark Boy and Lava Girl, um, but I mean, that's the thing. I don't think this is going to be, it's not made to be some like Marvel film or anything. It's just good, <laughs> fun entertainment. And that's sometimes, I just want that. I just want to be entertained yep. and to laugh and feel good without like crying and being depressed coming out of the movie theater. Yeah. So, so they, I, will t- they will have my money. I, agree I know I'm going to end up going. And Amanda, I'm totally with you. I am like, you know, cartoon, nah, Dora the cartoon, whatever. But I feel like Dora, the, this, this movie is going to be good. Well, what I liked about it was in the trailer, like she goes to like regular school, right? Yeah. She starts yeah. Her. That was the part I was like, oh, she's going to regular school. Dora's going to. Oh, where is she? And then she has a little backpack. I was like, oh, Lord, you better. <laughs> they're going to be. You think they're going to be- start singing the backpack. <laughs> she's, she's been wearing that same outfit for who knows how many years. <laughs> is, is Dora the same actress that was in um, the, what was that family, the foster care family one? Um, Instant Family? Instant Family? Oh. Oh, I haven't seen Instant Family. Is that Amazing, the You did the. Think for that. Yeah, I, don't, really I didn't even, you know, I don't pay attention to all that. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm trying to think what she looks like because I know who you're talking about an instant family. And so it might, yeah, it kind of kind of looks like her though. Yeah, I forgot to look it up, but it, it does look like her. So I think it might be the same girl. It says her name is Isabella Moner. Moner? That ain't helping me. <laughs> oh, Amanda doesn't know names. I keep forgetting yeah. that. Sorry. No. <laughs> it's Dora. It's Dora to Amanda, right? It's Amanda. Dora. Yeah. <laughs> or, or the girl from Instant Family. <laughs> it is funny, though. Like, the trailer made me laugh at several parts, so it seemed like it would be entertaining. But I, like, I still have Dora PTSD. I need to. <laughs> That, you know, it, it, sounds like, it sounds like Tessa hates the Latinos, Tanya. It sounds like I, Tessa hates them. <laughs> Seriously. You, you caught me. <laughs> Darn, you figured it out. Teaching kids Spanish, they were, I mean, that's oh. where my kids learned about how to make chocolate with their abuela. I mean, oh. I like oh. them. What well, do you we always come in? Dora no. made snacks. Everybody, vamanos. And then we go, you can lead the way. Da, da, Dora. Da, da. I mean, I've been singing it for years. So, but, but my girls still, yeah, they learned Spanish from it. That's true. They did. Huh. I knew I would do that. I need to watch it again to learn Spanish. The cartoon. <laughs> I didn't know she made snacks. I might have watched it if I knew she was going to make some snacks now. She was making <laughs> <laughs> I she's stirring she's stirring the chocolate with her grandma. She like pate, yeah. pate, chocolate. You can play the game at nickjr.com and I think you can cook with her I think you can do that in the game at Nick Jr. Aww, so if you so go cool. into the kitchen, you can cook, Amanda. Oh. I love that. Okay. So I I feel like I mean it sounds like we're all gonna go see it. Yeah. No choice. You have I have no choice. choice. Sorry, you gotta go see it. <laughs> yeah. My girl when she heard me watching the trailer and she was like is that Dora there's gonna be a Dora movie I was like yep she's like oh my god so (laughs) and then they like played Dora-esque games all day yesterday it was very fun it was fun to hear them like even my 13 year old 
because he grew up with Dora too. So I guess we got to go see it. So that's going to be fun. Dora and the Lost City of Gold will be out August 3rd, I think they said. Yeah, I think it's early August. Yes. Yeah, it's a week before um, Artemis Fowl, which we'll yes. talk about. At so you can time. see Artemis Fowl the following <laughs> week. We'll talk about Artemis Fowl at another time. Not today. We don't have time today, Tessa. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to my site, shameless plug, mamasgeeky.com, to learn all about Artemis Fowl today. You can, and you can go to the Geekly Show Facebook page because the link is on there, too. We yes! Can- you need to learn about Artemis Fowl because we know nothing about it. But Tess is going to give us a full rundown of Artemis Fowl. Hopefully when that first trailer drops, we'll be talking about it. So coming up soon. So first, mark down Dora. And then the next week, you're going to go see Artemis Fowl. That's yeah. Spoiler alert, there's no owls in it. There are no owls <laughs> in it. Even though nobody thought there was owls in it except for a <laughs> Right. <laughs> I think um, we need to start our countdown. So 30 days from today. What are we seeing? What's coming out, guys? Oh! Gosh. Tanya's got it there. <laughs> Tanya, do you play with that that pop head or the, the Funko Pop at night? <laughs> you play with your your Chris Evans. Funko. So what do I? What if I do? So what? <laughs> <laughs> do you talk to it? Do you? Does he talk to you? <laughs> do you like? I really love you, Tanya. You got to know. <laughs> do you? I can see Tanya. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is it on your nightstand? Oh, my. oh, what is that? What is that, Cap? Oh, yeah. You get them. <laughs> she keeps it in her purse everywhere she goes. She's got a shop sitting there. <laughs> that's that's sad. I'll tell you right now. That's so sad. That makes sense. <laughs> but in game is 30 days away from today, you guys. That's crazy. That's crazy. Who's going to go see it the Thursday night, though? I am, and I'm going to be away. So I'm literally going to sneak away from the conference, and I'm going to go see it. Oh, well, you should. I bet you a yeah. lot of people go with you, though. Yeah, I, that's true. Uh, but so, I don't want to. You better buy it. some tickets in advance, then. Well, they're not on sale yet, but they should be this week, I think they said, or next week, oh, is good. the speculation. Yeah. Yeah, right after, like, like, right after my girls saw Captain Marvel, they're like, we are going. When is Endgame coming out? We are going the night it comes out. Mm-hmm. And so I got to take they... them on Thursday night because we're going out of town the next day. So I don't even care if it's not kid appropriate. I'm going to have to take them anyways. <gasps> oh. What? Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> dedication there. I know. <laughs> That's a lot coming from Tanya. Now, Tanya, Whoa, guys. Guys. were they like that? Were they like that for like <laughs> Infinity War or something? Or in everything? Or did... Captain Marvel really just get them into it that much. I mean, they liked Infinity War, um, but I think, you know, it's been a year, so it's kind of been out of their minds for a little yeah. bit, and then Captain Marvel like just revamped it in uh-huh. their minds. So. Gotcha. Is that what they're looking for in Infinity War? Are they looking for her, or just all of it? No, they just want to know what happens, like who dies, who comes back. All of <laughs> Tyler, look at Tyler said, hey, it's the greatest YouTube channel of all time. Oh. And speak of, and speak of the next oh. topic, devil. Oh, that's on the list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect transition. Amira, he got you there. <laughs> what do you ladies think of Adam Warlock possibly? Yeah. Yes, it's time. I mean, I figured we would, we would talk about in-game quickly. Because we got plenty of in-game talk to do later. But we need to talk about Guardians. Because Guardians is making all types of news right now. There are casting rumors. And my favorite rumor is the Zac Efron rumor. Yours is? Yeah. I can kind of get behind it. I'm for it. 100%. Yeah. And I love Adam Warlock. And so I'm not like over the moon excited but i'm like i feel like he could pull it up like i would never ever had thought have thought of zach efron as playing warlock never in a million years would that have come to my mind but now that it's out there i'm like i i could really see that like i think he could really pull he's very talented and he's I nice to look want, at i want tessa to get zach efron's face tattooed on her arm you want to know something listen the plan tanya the plan has always been <laughs> listen to get 
movie version of Adam Warlock right up here starting starting the sleeve. So if it's Zac Efron, I have to get Zac Efron. Oh, that's right. That's oh. right. The plan has always been to have him at the top, like, doing one of his crazy poses. And I've been waiting because it needs to be movie version. So, I might end up having Zac Efron. Tessa, are you Tessa, if you, as a fan of Zac Efron to get him tattooed on your body? I mean, I'm getting Adam Warlock tattooed on me to go it's with the Guardian. Efron, when people see it, they're going to say, oh, you got Zac Efron on you. Tessa, if you do that, I will get Zac Efron's abs on mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh-oh, yeah. uh-oh. Go get it. Go get it. Amanda, I think that may have been one of your best comments ever. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh! oh. <laughs> so I just heard the Zac Efron news, but is there like another room or two with, uh? Yes, Mark Hamill. Now who is he supposed to be? The creator of Rocket. So, you know, Rocket is like, uh, he's not really a raccoon, right? He was like created in a lab, whatever. Uh And the fact that they're talking about, so I knew way back when Mark Hamill and James Gunn went back and forth on Twitter a lot about, oh, had they had never met, but they live near each other. And Mark Hamill's like, can I come over? Or James Gunn was like, come over for lunch. And he's like, we can talk about my role in Guardians 3. And then people went crazy. And they were like, no, like, this is something we've never brought up before. This was a joke, like. But then they started really talking about it. And Mark was like, no, I really want to be in Guardians 3. And James Gunn was like, I'm totally cool with that. Like, yes, I want you in Guardians 3. So the fact that they're saying they think he's going to be Rocket's creator means I don't even know where the storyline's going to go. Like, is it going to show oh, Is he going to show up and try uh, to, like... Or I wonder if this is going to have, yeah, or a lot of flashbacks, like, you know? Flashbacks? But, or is he going to, like, show up and be like, Rocket, yo, you're my creation. Come back here. Like, try to get him back. I don't know. That's not huh. well. It sounds like I, they're gonna. I feel like Guardians Three is gonna be long, like Endgame. Mm-hmm. Because they won't have a choice but to make it long. Like yeah. there's a lot they have to ha- wrap up for that storyline. So I like it. I like that we get to learn a little bit more about Rocket because I feel like he's. I don't know. He's one of my favorites. Yeah. I don't know. I think everyone him. loves him. Yeah. So we was. About him, and I love Mark Hamill, and you know that. So right, and they don't really touch on the story. Like even though he was created, I feel like they don't really no. touch on that at no. all. He doesn't like to talk about it. No, you know, mm. he's just kind of there. So, so even if it's like quick cameos, flashbacks, that still would be really awesome. So like in the comics, do they do they cover that a lot in the comics? Like no, really? Rocket does not like to talk about his past. I think there's like there's an individual Rocket comic that I was reading for a long time that never even really touched on it. Uh-huh. But I bet if you go back, like I could probably go back to even before I started reading them in like the 80s, and I bet you there's some stuff like way back when. But I would have to look because I had Rocket. It was called Rocket Raccoon, I think was the name of the series, and they never really, just he was created, basically. Oh. <laughs> so, so they really have a lot of leeway for his They story. do, yeah. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so that, those are two amazing rumors. I think we we I know. all love the, the ideas behind both of those. Mm-hmm. So hopefully they will pan out, especially that Zac Efron. That just makes my day, Zac Efron as Adam Warlock. It just, it's know. perfect. That might that might actually get me to enjoy Guardians, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go see it. Hello, face pillow, Tanya. I think it'll I think it'll happen. I think you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Gosh, Tanya, I don't know. If, uh, have you even seen both Guardians? Like, could you get through the second one? Oh, me. the second one was horrible, but <laughs> yes, I made it through. I fell asleep every time. I don't think I finished it either. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it too. There was a lot of potty language in the second one. Yes, that's what all the kids. It was like like the first. Oops. None of my kids have seen Guardians too. None of them. Mm -hmm. My girl. Like all of Ryan or my husband wants to do um, a Marvel marathon. um, Like for spring break, he wants he wants to let the kids like start from from A to B. 
watch all of them in a row, like no, like potty breaks really quick and like keep them up for 40 hours in a row. And I'm like, dude, I haven't even seen all of them. Like is your spring break coming up trying to do it before end game or just. Yeah. Yeah. So it's um, like second week of April. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ryan's crazy. I like him. I <laughs> fun. I know. I could get behind that. Our I was like our spring break is the week right before endgame. I mean I could Back potentially to work. <laughs> There's you know, no way I could sit and watch forty movies. Oh, I could forty hours of movies straight. I can That's stay probably longer than four I mean, I average out to but he re- you really want to fall asleep on Guardians too then. Staying up all <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because it's that, towards that the end, so <laughs> Yeah, there was just a lot of like it was crude humor, and I don't, and I don't like crude humor. Yeah, some of it, I, I, there were some things that was just not really needed to make the movie, but yeah, I love the ego stuff though, because I love ego in the comics, and I was like really skeptical of them making him like a human, and I was like, this is not, I don't know. But I was really impressed. I thought Kurt Russell did an amazing job. I really loved it. So I like Kurt Russell. Yeah, I think I probably liked it more because that was one of the trips I was on. So yeah. I got to learn yeah. a lot more about it. And that mm-hmm. always makes me appreciate and like yeah. him a little more when you. That's true. Get more. Yeah. Like I was on the set, you know, yeah. just like with Captain Marvel. I think when you're on the set, you get more, mm-hmm. you feel more connected to it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. So it was. It's an interesting movie. I still watch Guardians, the second one, when it comes on. I watch it, but because I love Guardians, so I don't mind it. It's just, it was a lot of language. That's why I thought of Tanya. I was like, I wonder if you even got through this movie, because there was a lot of language up in there. Yeah. Um, but Guardians, rumors, awesome. We obviously, if, they're, if these rumors come to pass, we'll be sharing it as breaking news here on the Geekly Show on our Facebook page, on YouTube. So you guys will, you'll see it probably here first because we are, we're on top of the news. Tyler says, Tyler's got questions of the rumor. Yeah. He's checking us up on topic here. Are we, is that DC? Tyler, are you trying to get us to talk about DC? (laughs) Do you even know what we're about around here? Hey, what's wrong with DC? The Twilight couple is rumored to reunite. I did not know that. I didn't know that either, and I thought they hated each other in real life. I can't so believe that, that one. Hated I can't believe that one. Up. Yeah, that'd be weird. I don't. I don't know that I could do that after that whole Twilight debacle. Yeah. Well, after didn't she cheat on him with like some? What a like director. A director of something or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like an older man or something, wasn't it? Yeah. That dude was married, too. Yeah. But, oh, but now she she uh, has a girlfriend or something, don't she? She does. Yeah, but she still cheated on him. <laughs> that is interesting. She's a very interesting personal life. <laughs> All right. So I think it's so a was... idea, Tyler. I hope we see Tyler. Tyler. Yeah, oh, not horrible. somebody. <laughs> It's horrible because it's Batman. Well, I love Batman, actually. To tell you the truth. I know. I do, too. I really like. Um, I tell you. You know what I've discovered is that Amira and I are, like, ridiculously similar. We are. We're like twins, y'all. Can't you see it? I so thought this morning exactly. when Amira was starting to get stressed, I was like, I see some Tessa coming out of her. <laughs> I saw this morning Amira was getting stressed. I was like, whoa, look at that. <laughs> so you guys are basically saying that would run Batman for you, that casting duo. Yeah. It would be weird, yeah. It would be weird. I already had some weirdness about Robert Patterson, him as Batman. I already had, I was just like, uh, you know? But then yeah. her as Batgirl, like, she's just too depressing. She's just always, uh. <laughs> yeah, she's well, that no kind of fits Gotham. Except for one, which is just like. <laughs> oh. I'm having a call. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, it's Amanda. Of course, of course. I love it. But All yeah, of us um, silence our phones, disconnect crazy things from going off on our computers. Not Amanda. What? I mean, there wouldn't be a show unless we had... It could have been... Look, that could have been... I got to be on call. That could be Hollywood calling any minute. It could be Bollywood. It could be Bollywood. <laughs> it's probably... That's true. That's true. It'd be more realistic if it was Bollywood, too. <laughs> more accurate. <laughs> They need you. They need you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I, I want us to hop into a quick discussion about Us. So, okay. Us came out this past weekend, right? Yep. And 
None of us have seen. Well, I know Tanya, you're it's scary. You're gonna see that. I don't like scary. But is it really? Is it scary? Scary like jump? Like I don't know because I like Get Out. I like Jordan yeah. Peele's movie Get Out a lot. And I, I think this find... is supposed to be like scarier than. Oh, it is. Like it's. it's I think it's supposed to be yeah. more like in your face, not okay. like that was very psychological. Like he yeah, didn't well, know. Oh yeah, that was what these people were until the end and Get Out. Well, almost the end, right? In this one, it seems like. I mean, these things are following you around. There's something not right, obviously. And you know, I don't like scary movies. But I had heard, like, all the initial reactions to and they were, it was getting, like, rave reviews, right? Right? Like, it was like, oh, this is wonderful, blah, blah, blah. And it was, then, like, 99% on Rotten Tomatoes? It was something like that. And then it came out, and then people started, like, there's still people that are like, oh, I loved it. I loved it. Blah, blah, blah. And then there's people like, uh, you know, so it's, really I've heard nice. a lot that it falls apart at the end is what a lot of people have said. Really? Yeah. I heard the last 30 minutes. It's just like, you're sitting there like, what, what just happened? Like, so, I think they tried to put in a twist and it didn't work or something. It's hard to recreate that kind of stuff. You know, like what get out, that was such a crazy, you're just like, what is going the on? Time I was like, something's going on with these people. Yeah. And I thought the girl had, I was like, she, something's wrong with her. Like, something's weird. But then, what was it, when he went into, like, her closet and he found, like, a box of pictures of her with ex-boyfriends or something, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh, I don't like this girl. I just hope it don't turn into, like, a, a M. Night Shyamalan. Remember? Because it, remember <laughs> oh, that? No. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it came out that sixth cent where, you know, the boy sees dead people and everybody's like, what? And then yeah. he started trying to recreate that. Right? Remember that? And he tried to do all these movies. You're like, oh, and my Sean, he did that. And then it, they were terrible. Like, he was Kevin. There was some that I liked, but I know a lot of people didn't. Like, what was that Village one? I really Oh, liked that's that. what I was saying. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I like you it. Like, and then so with the reviews being like the Rotten Tomatoes 99% and all that, are you guys going to go see it? Yeah. Well, I was planning on seeing it this weekend, but then so many people said it was bad that my husband was like, I don't know that I want to waste a date night on it. Maybe we should just wait till it comes out on video. I'm kind of thinking the same. I'm like, maybe I should wait. We're still going to go see it. My husband said, because all the reviews that I saw of people that I know, they were like, oh, it was awful. But the reviews of people that he knows, they were like, oh my God, it's so good. I got to go see it like two more times. Really? So now we're, now we're split, which means we do still have to go see it so that way we can voice our own opinions about mm-hmm. it. So probably this weekend we'll, we'll do a quick date night and go yeah. see it. Um, I'm just curious because it was 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. Like, yeah. I just, yeah. Does that now mean Rotten Tomatoes is not right? Like, is it fixed? Or does that mean people who are saying that it's awful just don't understand the... Like, I'm I'm intrigued. Maybe, yeah, maybe they couldn't wrap their heads around the twist. Like, you know... Yeah. You, I can't I, even look at that movie poster without being all freaked out. Yeah. What is it now, Tanya, you said? It's 94. But is, 94. That, is that the audience yeah. score? Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. What, what's the I audience? I need to make time to go see it. I just really like scary movies around Halloween. Like, why can't they just only bring them out then? <laughs> Tanya, what's I the audience movies, score? Though. What's the what? audience score? The audience score is 71. Um, see, that's like mm-hmm. a big dip. Sometimes, but like. That could be, like, the twist and stuff. Like, audience aren't really getting it as well as, like, the critics are. That's true. Sarah's saying people are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Some people like to go, like Tanya was mentioning about Dora. Sometimes you just want to go in for a movie where you don't have to think. And yeah. maybe they were wanting more of like a Halloween scare where you just kind of know what's going to happen. Or yeah. some people go in with the expectations of the first, you know, and then they're like, yeah. man, so really if you're going in there without okay. that, I think it'll be better. Or yeah. like, so yeah, Mira, you might like it going in with like, eh, it might not be great. Yes, mm-hmm. that's what I you think. Know. Yeah. Because I'm like, hmm. I might actually really, really enjoy it. But also, I loved Get Out. I really, really loved that movie. So I'm hoping that that's not true, that, you know, they tried to, like, escalate it and make it a little more fancier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, like, I don't need that. I just need this. To, I need you to mess with my brain just a little bit. and Not a lot of gore, but just enough. Oh, yeah. No. That, see, that's yeah. what I mean by audience for critics. I'm like, you are just enough. But then critics might be like, oh, wow, you know, we're so into that twist. or what. I haven't seen it, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see because I'm. I will still see it. So Tessa, you're you're still on the fence. Amanda, yeah, you're on the fence. Sarah, are you gonna go? Do you think you'll go see it? 
I will try to go soon. Okay. You'll try to go soon. All right. So we'll, we will give you guys our view. Tanya, you're not allowed to go. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's rated R, isn't it? That's why I'm not going. Yes. It's, um, I think so. Yeah. It's a lot of, he said there's a lot of blood and there's a lot of gore in this. Oh, one, so really? Rated R. Well, they always uh, carry around those scissors. They always carry around those scissors. No, I, I, mean, I don't. I was, that. Eventually, I don't know if I. I might wait to the the video though. I might wait because you know I got. Yeah, I, I, I still want to go I've to the theaters. My husband wants to wait, so we'll see. Oh, I know this is not on the list, so don't kill me, Amira. But um, doesn't Dumbo come out this weekend? Yeah, what? Dumbo comes out next week. This week. This week. This yeah. Week? Yeah. Is it so? Right. <gasps> Did Dumbo. anybody see it? I know that the um, like the press screening here was yesterday, but I couldn't go. I, I couldn't go either. No, we don't get screeners here, so I never. Get I don't get them either. I did want to go, but I, I'm out of town, so I wasn't able to go. But I, I thought I think it looks cute. I wanted to go see it mm -hmm. on the press screening before. We'll probably I'm, take the girls. I'm just afraid I'm going to cry. So yeah, I'm Amira, are you going to go see? Us than Dumbo or Dumbo. Yeah. <laughs> no, no lie. We'll probably go see Dumbo like Saturday during the day, with the kids, and then Saturday night we'll go back to the movies and see us. So then I'll be <laughs> crying and screaming in the same day. <laughs> we saw the trailer and and Lori, my youngest, looks at me and she goes, "Guys, we can't go see that in the theaters. Mom will cry too much." I was like, oh, <laughs> "They know, they know you. They know. They're like, no." <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh well D dumbo i mean if we all go see it or if most of us go see it obviously next tuesday we'll be talking about it but i'm i'm sure most of us will see it so yeah i plan to go see dumbo this weekend let us know you can even comment here on the video let us know if that was in your plans for the weekend to go see it it looks so stinking cute and i know everybody's gonna cry everybody that's seen it I, they've said that they cried so i'm just gonna bring tissues because the original dumbo makes me cry so this I know, gonna be, me too. It's going to be a real live action Dumbo with his big old ears and his big old oh. eyes. And that clown face. I yeah. know. Speaking of crying, look I at it. Oh, my ah! God. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to cut a mirror off there. Like, Perfect transition. Perfect transition. Get into that. Because, because like, listen, yeah. since we're already crying, let's, let's dive into the rookie. Because, because I've never seen... Crazy. I've never seen Sarah get so upset. What if she came out of her phone and she was like, she was like, she was like, did you all see the cry. I do not cry over her fictional characters here. But I was shocked. They never kill off main characters like this. I didn't watch it, Sarah. So that's the thing. You have to tell us because I didn't watch it. But is it captain? Okay. okay, so the rookie and the captain, the captain's helping the rookie, your man, Nathan, uh -huh. out whenever they, so he, he basically gets in a bad situation, and everyone should go watch it. I'm just going to run the end for you, but you can watch the full episode, and she's there helping him, and you think she's going to make it because she gets in this pool, and she breaks her wrist to be able to get out of the tide thing, so then she, or like they tied her into this chair, and then she breaks the wrist, you know, gets all out of it and swims up, has her gun, shoots two of the guys, and then she ends up getting shot and in the pool, and then he gets out of the chair and goes in and gets her, and so you just, you're not expecting her to not make it after she gets out of the tied up, so you're like, what? Is it for sure? Like, not, like, did they have the funeral for her? Yeah, oh yeah, no. She's I sent you a Marco Polo of her being yes, in the casket. I mean, oh, she's I not coming out of that casket. Oh, God. so she dies. Oh. That's so sad. Like, I don't understand how, like, she's the one who gave us our tour. She seemed so invested in the show. Like, what happened? How come she's gone? That's why I was so, like, sad and shocked by it. Because I'm like, we actually met her. She was so nice. She was we so nice. Photos with her. Uh -huh. I'm like, why are they killing off the one that we are, you know, our friend? We're all friends. I know. Yeah. I know. That's right. I feel like we're her friends. They killed off our friend. It's just know. shocking. I'm like, unless, are they like trying to set up the rookie to become the captain? Like, maybe. I don't know. Oh. Like, I'm, you think, already, you think it could be? No, I think it would be so soon. I yeah. think the other guy that's like under the captain will probably take it. But I'm like, 
what is like the reasoning behind this? Because that's like a bold move for a show to yeah. kill off one of their lead characters. It's true. It's, unless it's they're the one that people liked so much too. She was a lot of people's well, favorites. Maybe, you know, maybe, I saw uh, people on Twitter were freaking out. Sometimes, yeah, unless she wanted out of the show. That's for what I was thinking. Yeah. 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 Or they didn't like her on set. Sometimes, what if her and Nathan was like mad at each other? Or something, you know, sometimes not Nathan. That. Oh well, no, I was gonna say her and uh, that other guy. They had the pranks going the whole time. Right? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think just because we were on set and we saw, like, they all seem to get along. I mean, maybe they're never know. for us. They're but... actors. You never know. You never know. <laughs> she. Well, I don't want to say stuff bad about it, but I'm just saying you never know. They could be like, we're, she's a diva on set, you know, you never know. She's not a diva. <laughs> no. She's on her day off to give That's us true. a tour of that. She is yeah. not a diva. Yeah. But that yeah. makes me feel like she was so invested in the show. I agree. I think she was probably excited to come in and do it. You know, she seemed like it. Yeah, something was up. Maybe she just needed a hiatus or a break or something, but she was yeah. like, so Mercedes, if you're watching, thank you for yeah. taking us around. Yeah. Yes. So amazing. Hopefully this doesn't mean that you're done acting. Maybe we'll see her in another show. We don't know. We don't know. I know. But she's gone. She's gone from the rookie. R.I.P. Tessa, you watched it, didn't you? Uh, I watched, I went back, I watched that episode, yeah, but I was still, like, four behind, but I watched that one, and then now I'm going back and watching the other ones. But did, weren't you a little shocked she didn't come out of it? Yeah, but, well, I knew already. Well, she knew. Right, yeah. I watched it in the mornings, so I had already known, but I see what you mean, they set it up like you wouldn't know, like, if you didn't know, you'd be completely shocked. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, just, just for Sarah, we have a little yeah, tribute for her, because we all met her. We all loved her. Not this is for her, right? Oh, this well, is for I, Mercedes. I, I did this, this for, is you, for you, but. Mercedes. You ready? And for Sarah. And for Sarah. <laughs> I think I mean, Look at Sarah's face. <laughs> I was in trouble by the captain. She was like, "What?" I know. Oh, <laughs> look, see how nice she was. So. <laughs> Oh, why is everybody looking scared at her? Because <laughs> like, we were in trouble. She said yeah. you're going to be in trouble. In the captain office. Yeah. Oh, she was so nice. Your bestie, Tessa. We're going to miss you. Where's my lighter? That I heard up one. Oh, Amanda, that's a good picture. Amanda's got that selfie angle down. She does. Oh, I like how we did the... <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Look at my face! <laughs> oh, like, oh, no. Oh, 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 wait, it cut off. It said a new captain in town. It cut it off. <laughs> a solo shot. Is that the new captain? <laughs> that was supposed to be the new captain. I put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> oh, Amanda. Oh, that was funny, man. You're taking her spot. <laughs> I'll be. I just feel that break your wrist and swim out of there when you're tied up to a chair. To take the bad guys down? No. I'd be like, you on your own. <laughs> <laughs> what? Captain shouldn't be out there doing that stuff anyway, right? Like, he's supposed to be in your office. No. Like. Yeah. So, I was reading during that tribute, um, <laughs> like, some of the, you know, gossip sites about why mm -hmm. she left. And it seems like it wasn't her decision at all. Like, it, the huh? writers just felt like this was the most dramatic way to end it. And so... They killed her off. They so were born for just her decision, and that she just was victim of the writers. So the shock uh, factor, uh -huh. the shock factor, right? Mm -hmm. But I bet you they would have never killed off Nathan. No. Well, okay, right, right. Why they got to kill off? Mercedes? I know. Why? I know. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Oh, I'm, well. I'm gonna boycott. I'm be like, y'all, no, that's my girl. Y'all killed her off. <laughs> I'm not going to go rewatch those eight shows I'm behind on. <laughs> That's what y'all get. <laughs> oh, my oh, my gosh. All right. I'll start the, 
I'll I'll boycott with you. Let's do it. it. Yeah. Bring back Mercedes. Bring Mercedes. Bring Mercedes. <laughs> Okay, well, Mercedes, we love you. We had yes. a great time with you. Hopefully, we'll see you in another show. They better redeem themselves and put you on another ABC show. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. is happening. We're going to start a hashtag. Yeah. Yes. I don't know what it's going to be, but you're getting another job right now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We miss you. This is going to be crazy mm-hmm. without Captain on there. So, And her name was Zoe. Captain Zoe, that's just so... Never mind. It sounds so great. Why would why would you kill off a Captain Zoe? Like, you, yeah. why would you do that? This doesn't make any sense. But all that all that said, we'll miss her. And this yes. is a great, I feel like that was a great way to end our show today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With a tribute that didn't make fun of Captain America in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I you might have those coming in about thirty days, though. Yeah. That's oh! <laughs> 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 Hasn't Tessa been mean lately? Y'all see it. Tanya, you see it now. She's not just being mean to me. She's being... Amanda's... No, don't. Don't don't you bring me into this. Don't try to blame your meanness on me. I'm taking note, Amanda, and and I'm sitting here waiting, waiting for the the kill to come. So (laughs) don't you worry. I'm I'm taking notes. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching us today. This was such a fun show. Uh, this weekend, make sure you go see Dumbo. If you haven't seen yeah. us yet, go see that. Uh, also, we're going to be talking Netflix in the next few weeks. So if you guys have any Netflix shows that you want to recommend to the Geekly for us to watch together, please do so. Comment here on our yeah. Facebook page over on YouTube. You can put in a comment under any of our videos. Let us know what shows we need to be binging so that way we can get ready for our super mega fantastic Netflix show that we're going to do for you guys. And until next time, my friends. Tanya! (laughs) Stay giggly, Tanya!